Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now this isn't an Az Chats video and it's not an emergency Az video either because uh, there are some things after looking recently at all this classic talk that's going on and I mean in relation to the video that I did, uh, I'm talking about everything that Blizzard's been saying recently and all the other stuff which is kind of surrounding classic run out. I think there are certain things we really need to discuss. So this is just a discussion video might get a little bit passionate whatever but i just want to say before i start this i am not having to go at the community because i am just as guilty as what i'm about to to kind of critique in this video as anybody because i myself have been party to it now when blizzard announced that they were going to bring classic servers to the world of warcraft there was this huge element of excitement and rightly so uh, at last blizzard who had said we're not going to do it we're not going to do it we're not going to do it we're going to do it have said exactly what people wanted us to say and it even got me out of my wow exit you know i've been gone for basically a year from the game and then suddenly the announcement of classic servers really sparked my interest and absolutely revitalized and regenerated me because when I left the game a year or so ago, I actually went on to third-party vanilla servers to see if I was just looking at the game through rose-tinted specs. And having done that, I realized how much better I appreciated the product then and how much more fun I actually had with the characters. But I had to stop because the third party and they could have got shut down by Blizzard at any time. And I didn't want to invest my time and energy in something that could be gone. Girlfriend. In 60, you know, just like that. And so when Blizzard announced that they were going to do it, that was the first video I did on my return, on my comeback. Uh, to the world of Warcraft. It wasn't the announcement of Battle for Azeroth. It was classic, guys. We're getting classic. Uh, because I was so happy about it. And what I did was I expressed my joy for classic returning. I gave you a couple of World of Warcraft stories. And then I ended it by doing something which a lot of us are doing. Giving my opinion on what I think Classic WoW should add to it and i said things like well you know i wouldn't be bothered if they put the new character models into classic wow i'd be okay with that and then i said uh but ooh, wouldn't it be quite interesting possibly they actually have the current world as well you know so they have the current aesthetic for gilneas in like powerwood village and the current wall and gilneas but instead of you know the the sea you just you know put a mountain range around it and block it off so we can't get to it uh, and of course, that would also um, be the same factor with places like Old Doom and Anchorage, you know, because they now exist as physical 3D uh, products in the game. Whereas back in vanilla, there was a lot of jiggery pokery, smoke and mirrors and all those words you love me to say um, about how they were presented in the World of Warcraft. If you could actually see it from air or like me, if you're one of these people that could find your way around these places, they looked ugly as balls they really did uh but that, that's just the way that the world's put together the world was never created for you to fly in and hence why cataclysm was born and this you know proper world that we can now fly around now exists but because i was so excited about classic and and i was so uh taken back by how you welcomed me back to wow and all the love you gave me it was unbelievable i was reading comment after comment after comment after comment after comment on that video hundreds upon hundreds i probably went through six seven hundred comments in that video lots of them saying welcome back you know good to see you back and lots of them expressing their opinion about what they believe they should add into classic wow and then this isn't just isolated of course to that video i'm seeing it all round people are offering opinion after opinion after opinion oh they should add this they should add that they should add this they should add that and this to me is now actually really going to cause problems this is what i think oh dear when i saw everything that's going on i was just like oh no this is now a monster and Blizzard are really in a difficult situation at the moment. Because after so so long of saying no, and then announcing that they are, suddenly, instead of people in the community just being content with Blizzard saying, we're going to give you the classic servers, now everybody's offering an opinion 
about what should be in the classic servers. Oh, well, you should put AoE looting in. Come on, AoE le looting should come in. Some numpty talking about pet battles. For... What the fuck? You know, you know, oh, you should put stuff like this in. New character models, dickhead, right here. Um, you know, new world, old world, uh, you know, raid finder, guild. All these kind of things. People are, I'm not saying that they're coming in, but I'm just saying people offering all these opinions about what they believe should be in, in the classic version. So Blizzard are now at the, uh, in a situation where they're just getting bombarded with opinion. And I believe, now if this is incorrect, just tell me in the comment section so I can dismiss it immediately. And I'm just going to say this and I'm not going to harp about, on about it because I'm not sure if it's correct. But somebody, uh, I heard a rumor, a couple of people have said to me that Blizzard are going to poll, you know, they're going to potentially poll the community on things they'd like to see in Classic WoW. You know, not saying that they're going to put them in, but they're going to poll the community. If that's true, err. And also, uh, they put up a recent post either today or yesterday about class balances in um, the World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, and how some classes were, like, really underpowered, uh, bordering and unplayable uh, in some instances, they reckon. And, you know, what they should do with those classes uh, if they brought Classic WoW back. You know, well, when they bring, I should say, classic WoW back to the community. And seeing all of this going on just made me think it's got to stop. It's got to stop. And I'll, t I'll tell you right now, classic WoW, having stepped back and seen everything that's going on, classic WoW, uh, and if, you, if you've been seeing my recent streams, apologies for saying this again, is, is like frontier gaming. It's the Wild West of gaming. Back when Blizzard created the World of Warcraft, their first MMORPG using the Warcraft brand, we're going back 13 years when MMORPGs were something brand new and something which really people were gravitating towards with the fact that broadband and stuff like that was beginning to start to develop. It was still in its infancy as we know it now, but it was starting to develop and we were actually getting, instead of just putting a game into a machine and playing it or into a PC and playing it, we were getting to play with other people. We were getting to play with other people all around the world. Uh, in our games and, and this was very exciting and this was very new to everybody and the MMO RPG genre exploded really you had your Final Fantasy 11 that was doing very well indeed you were having games which were coming out with hub systems Monster Hunter Fantasy Star Online still where you had community hub areas you get a team together you'd go into an area and, and an instance area and do it but World of Warcraft brought something completely unique and that was open world back in those days back in there back in those days Kalimdor and the eastern kingdoms were separated by one load screen other than that you could go from the top of one continent to the bottom of the other continent and you wouldn't have to go through any portal whatsoever completely unique and even today's standards and probably one of the reasons why wow is still so so popular uh, you know an open world a genuine open world mmorpg i think wow's really the only game that's doing it uh, other than that it's it's a lot of instanced areas or a lot of continent you know continent based areas now sure the game's evolved and we've had it added new continents and now you've got a portal to the continents but still once you're on a continent in wow you can access everything there you know there's very little stuff very very little stuff indeed that you need to get a portal to and all that kind of stuff so what vanilla did was it was at the infancy of all this evolution all this stuff which has evolved over time. Vanilla WoW was in its infancy. And it, it wasn't looking at things like quality of life improvements. It, it's more concerned about putting together all these classes. Uh, putting together all this content. Giving people stuff to do. Giving people a challenge. Trying to get people to work together. Because it was an MMO. So the, the emphasis in those days was legitimately to get people together. Get into guilds. Get together, make new friends, go dungeoneering with them, go raiding with them. 40 person raiding, big ass number of people to get raiding. And, and you know, you have these, all these elements are about cooperation and working together. And in those days, you know, things like dick meters that we have now, penis meters, they were sort of not irrelevant, but they weren't immediately thought of. It was more about how you were playing the class and getting the best out of the class that you possibly could. 
And not only that, from a personal play standpoint, it was all about the quality of life. It was all about the management of how you ran your own character. And therefore, you were responsible for that quality of life. Not Blizzard, you. So if you went to your class trainer and you didn't have enough money to buy your spells, you had to identify, where can I get more money? Well, I can either play the auctioneer game, try and sell some stuff on the auction house, generate some cash that way, or I need to go out farming, try and get some mobs. Uh, creatures, creatures don't drop money. So I let's identify a nice NPC area with humanoids that do drop money and things like that. You were responsible for creating your own quality of life within the game, not Blizzard. Not Blizzard Entertainment. They were too busy thinking about putting in the freaking tons and tons of dungeons that they did. And all the raids that they put in. And all this multiplayer content. They were busy about that. Sure, they were looking at class balances and tweaks like that. And they were trying to do little, little fixes along the way here and there with other stuff. But the focal point was, we've got a frontier game. A wild west of gaming. One of the most... Pop, you know, something which really appeals to people is the fact of just getting back to nature in a sense. Going, you know, if you say to somebody, even now, with all the technology that we have now, there will be a lot of people out there who would just love to find a new continent with nothing on it, be given, like, your basic tools of survival and just try and build a future. You know, think about how America developed. Well, you know, apart from all the slave shit. But you know what I mean? Think about how it was, you know, you would have all this this vast open land and how they start to build up their little communities and then these little communities get bigger and bigger. It kind of used that analogy when it comes to the World of Warcraft and, and this sort of gaming. Because that's what it was. And when you start adding AoE looting and when you start adding pet battles... Or when you start adding new character models, new spell effects, the way that your character, you know, does a spell. All these things are very nice, but do they actually give something to the game? Do they actually give something to classic? Wow. In the current iteration of the game, sure. Because as the game has gone on in time, and how more and more MMORPGs have come out, and how trends in gaming have also changed, and people getting older, and other people trying to come in and take their place, and all this kind of stuff, the game needs to try and do new things. But back in those days, the product was what the product was. It didn't need gimmicky pet battles. It didn't need to have these amazing like spell effects that we have now. It was what the game offered that was the attractive prospect. It was the tough challenge of the world and it's almost survivability element if you're looking at it from today's perspective that it gave to you. How you yourself learned how to develop your own class and all that kind of stuff. And you know, me, I picked my character because of the cinematic, not because of how powerful it was. I saw the cinematic, saw the warlock, thought, oh my god, that looks amazing, that's for me. And that's why I chose that class. I didn't care whether it was strong or weak, that's why I, I just identified with the cinematic, thought that looked amazing, and that's why I wanted to do it. So even in terms of class balance, leave it alone. You know, let's say Reti Paladins, not very good in vanilla. I don't think they were. But let's just say, for argument's sake, Reti Paladins, not very good in vanilla. If you want to play the Reti Paladin in classic WoW, and you know that you're going to a class, or even if you don't know, but you, you're going to this class just because you want to play Reti Paladin, that is where the challenge lay. And if you knew that it was underpowered, then your challenge would be not only the world and everything around it, but your challenge would also be, how can I get the best out of this that I possibly can do? And if you're with similar like-minded people, then that's going to be a great experience for you. Because people are going to be playing those classes just purely because that's the class they wanted to play. Now, sure, I absolutely agree. There's probably going to be guilds out there that are just going to go, oh, you can't play that class because that's unplayable in this expansion. F screw you. Screw you. And that's, that's their issue. When I create my guild, that's not going to be how it's going to be run for me. For me, it's going to be you play the class that you want to play, and we work around those 
limitations, you know? If somebody wants to be a, a Reti Paladin and they want to come raiding with us, then they're coming. And we'll see what we can do. You know? It's about teamwork. It's about working together. It's about helping other people. That's how it used to be. Quality of life be damned. That wasn't the focus. The focus is on the actual physical game itself. So where does one person's quality of life become relevant and another person's quality of life become irrelevant? It's a very, very difficult game. And suddenly you're going to start diluting the product and diluting it and diluting it. And then you're going to get this horrific hybrid of classic and current WoW. And that's not why people are wanting classic. That's not why people have worked so hard to get Blizzard to say, yes, we're going to give you classic WoW. Because they want those challenging elements. They want all the good that vanilla brought. They also want all the bad that it brought as well. The fact that it was rough around the edges. That it was frontier gaming. That not everything was perfect. Not everything looked cute and nice and everything. Some things looked a bit rough. You know, some classes not quite as good as others. But that's the whole point. That was the whole learning experience. It, it wouldn't stop people from having fun. It wouldn't. And, you know, if you get the right guild, and I think there's going to be a lot of like-minded guilds out there, it's not going to stop you from getting in a guild and doing dungeons and raids with people either. Because it's, it's, to me, it's going to be more about helping people, building that sense of community back up, and enjoying the whole experience together. Quality of life, be damned. No. This is one of these instances now where I think Blizzard's just got to say, do you know what? Everybody, just back away. If you want classic WoW, we're going to give you classic WoW. But it's going to be how it was. Warts and all. Class imbalance and all. Weird ass gear and all. It's going to come with all of that. All we're going to do is just plug the holes. Plug the gaps that the game has. The glitches that weren't intended to ever be there for people to do. And that's all we're going to do. And that's what I think they really have to do. And even that is going to be really popular with the community. People are still really going to gravitate towards that. Because all these little ideas that people have got just, just as guilty as the next person. Where does one stop and another start? When does it start getting diluted and diluted and diluted? No, no. Classic WoW must be exactly that. Warts, Frontier Gaming, Wild West Gaming and all. Just let Classic be Classic. Now, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, varying opinion in the comments section. I, I do actually encourage that as well. I understand people that want to see quality of life. But in the same instance, you have it in the current game. This is a different beast. And this is a different beast that people want. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links, they're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.